Bambies, Collider here and welcome to a Cats and Dogs video in The Sims 4. So this video is sponsored by EA, so a big thank you to them. And I'm really excited for this one because I'm going to be building a tiny home. Oh my gosh! So I am going to be showing a little bit of footage here at the beginning of my video where I'm kind of going through some of the build and buy stuff. So I was going through it all, but uh, for some reason I didn't have any more footage of going through every single little bit. So I just decided it wouldn't really suit my second video that I'm going to be doing for cats and dogs. Uh, well, from the footage that I got uh, from the Sims camp. So I was like, well, I'm just gonna stick it in here for you guys who you like building and stuff. And hopefully you don't mind. I am in love with the style of items that we have in this expansion. It's very simple, country-like. There's a lot of beautiful little pot plants and stuff, which we are definitely going to be including in this tiny home. Uh, so if you guys don't know, I do have a tiny homes build series that I do weekly here on my channel. So make sure you go and subscribe if you haven't already to get notified when I upload all of that good stuff. Oh my gosh, guys, we had little cat and dog doors. They're so adorable. I love them. And I thought because this is a cats and dogs expansion, why not make a little dog house? There were a few people who were upset that we didn't have dog houses or like, you know, the little pet homes that we've had in previous games. So I was like, well, maybe they wanted us to create them, uh, create them ourselves. I know that sounds really funny, but I was like, okay, let's make a tiny house in the shape of a dog house. <laughs> So uh, at first it's looking very, very simple and I'm just like trying to figure out how am I going to make this like not super duper basic, but also still look like a dog house. So at first I have the normal triangle roof and I, I think it definitely looked like a dog house, but it just did not look very good. And this is a part of a series, so I didn't want it to look totally basic and I have a little spar on the side there because I thought it was kind of funny thinking of it as a, a dog bowl, a water bowl, and a lot of things in this build I kind of based off that. And I'm excited to show you guys the other build items to do with pets that I include on the inside. So we go for a bit of a round roof here. There are new roof uh, styles and tools that we can work with in this expansion. I believe it is with the expansion, not uh, an update because it was all new to the version that we were playing on the computers at the time. And I also want to mention that this version of Cats and Dogs was an early one, so not everything was perfect at that time. It was definitely an, not a finished version of the game. So if you guys see any tiny glitches here and there, that's probably due to that. And also there are some artifacts and glitchiness on my screen due to uh, the computer at the time because I wasn't recording on my PC. Uh, it had its recording settings set very, very low. I think it was either the FPS or the bit rate. I think it actually was the bit rate was set ridiculously low. So I had to set that right. So I'm sorry if parts of this video are quite low resolution. Very, very sorry guys. Uh, but do believe me that I fix it a bit later on. I realized like halfway through and I'm like, oh man, ah, just have to deal with it. <laughs> so I've always loved tiny homes. I think they're very enchanting and stuff. But something that I've always wondered is how do you live in a tiny home with a pet? Like, how would that be challenging? Like, it definitely would be a bit challenging. And would you be able to fit in all of the normal sim amenities? 
and also all of the stuff that pets in the game need. So I was sort of a little bit of a challenge to myself at the same time and also a way for me to just kind of get in the spirit of the new expansion and have a little bit of fun looking at all of the new items. I love, love all of the new windows that we got. I think they're just so gorgeous. The whole style that EA went for is just so great. I really just love it all. Uh, I grew up in, I always say this, I grew up in the country, so a lot of this is kind of reminiscent, but I think it's more like based off American kind of ranch style, which is also very cool. And I think it's very usable. It's a style that we could definitely incorporate into a lot of different types of builds and the color palettes are quite lovely too. So I, I could see this working in any build is what I'm trying to get at. So yeah, I'm excited. You know, the release date is coming out soon. I don't know the actual date. I think it's like the 10th or something. I may be wrong on that date. Just like thinking that off, off the top of my head. I'm so bad at remembering dates. Um, but <laughs> it's coming up early November anyways, and I'm just so excited to have these little critters in my game and all of this awesome build and buy stuff because I have to be honest, I've been missing especially the doors and windows, uh, the roof tiles, or not roof tiles, roof tools. They're really, really awesome. The way that you can make spires, like, you know, the roofs for towers to be a little bit more, um, I don't know, you can, the, I think I play around with it in this video. Oh man, guys, I was an absolute mess recording all of this stuff because we were just in a rush. There was a lot of people at Sims Camp this year and we also, what we didn't actually have a time limit, but because there were so many people, you kind of felt pressured to not be on the computer for very long. So uh, <laughs> that's why uh, I didn't really get that much in depth with all of the features but I'm still pretty happy with what I got. I'm sure like a lot of other people haven't got as much footage as I have even, which just, it, I just feel so bad because I don't know. Anyways, don't want to go on about that. Let's just get excited about all of this new stuff. These chairs are wonderful. That little, tiny little ottoman. Oh my gosh, it makes my heart sing. It is so kawaii, Des. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. And these stools, the little pet beds, and they can actually access them underneath the stairwell. So there was a really great use of the space there. And I just adore this bed. It has so many quirky little quilt covers. And oh, just reminds me of the quilt I used to have. I had this big, colorful pink, blue, purple, green, yellow quilt. Uh, it was mainly pink though, it was super girly, uh, but I just loved it so, so much. My sister-in-law actually got it for me just on a random whim because I pointed it out in the store one day and she was like, hey, I'll get that for you. And oh my God, I loved it so much. It was so pretty. And I'm happy that we have some nicer quilts in the game. Uh, also, something really cool that we were playing around with was, you know how you can size up in The Sims with the bracket um, key on the keyboard? Well, you can now size them down. I'm pretty sure that's probably going to come out with cats and dogs. I'm not 110% sure on that, but I haven't seen it happen in game yet. So fingers crossed it's going to be coming out soon because I came back home and I really missed being able to size items down because especially for paintings, rugs, etc., sizing down stuff. Oh, and even figurines. So you'll be able to fit them in like more tiny little shelvings and little positions and stuff. Uh, yeah, I just really, really liked that. And I'm excited to have it again. Really, really excited for that little aspect. And oh, do I show any of it in this? I'm not sure yet, but we add in a big 
bookcase here because I was like, well, let's give the illusion of lots of storage space. It is a tiny home. So I tend to do this a lot in my tiny homes builds. It may not actually be functional to the Sims or to the game, but uh, I do watch a lot of tiny homes videos and I love them so much. And I've noticed that, well, in real life anyways, they have to have a lot of storage, a lot of cupboards, hidden cupboards here and there, shelves and things, because you don't have a huge home to store everything. So you need you need all of these little like nooks and crannies where you can just hide things away so they're not just like out in the middle of the crown. Your house would be an absolute pigsty if, if, if you didn't have any storage in a tiny home. I can imagine it would get cluttered very quickly. And oh, I really liked these gorgeous little golden figurines we had too. They were really sweet. And that adorable little cat with the plant inside it. Oh, I've always loved those pot plants. Um, well, the pots that do that. I just think they're so cute. Um, I've wanted and been looking for a turtle one in real life for so long. I love turtles. I wish we had them in The Sims. Uh, but oh, I really want one in real life, one of those planters. Uh, so what else can I see here? There are litter boxes, which are really cool. Um, new rugs. I really liked the jute rugs. I think it's pronounced jute. It's sort of like a rough uh, twine kind of feel of the rug. And I can imagine the cats would love to scratch them up. I've, I've always thought they're really nice rugs, but because I have a cat, I'm like, oh gosh, maybe I shouldn't get one because my cat will probably ruin it and love it and just, yeah, absolutely destroy it. <laughs> so it, it kind of is funny that they would include that in this because it's kind of the same material. Well, it feels the same as what they have um, roped around a cat condo or, you know, a cat scratcher or whatever. I was pretty much done on the inside it's very simple. I really like the color scheme that I did with the reds, the blues against the white. I'm pretty simple when it comes to decorating, I'm gonna be honest. And oh my gosh, these little hedge cats and dogs were so kawaii! Oh my gosh, they're so cute and everything was so cute. I really liked these paintings also. Um, one thing that I wasn't a huge fan of was that the cat and dog beds were very flat. There was like a texture, there wasn't actually a lot of texture, um, it was like an image. Um, it doesn't look like it's lumpy, you know, like a cushion for them to really sit into and be comfortable. It kind of looks flat like an image. So that would be one of my only qualms when it comes to, not even a huge one, because like honestly, the pets are so cute when they go and sit on them and maybe... It's an issue with how the item interacts with the, um, the actual dog or cat character. I'm not sure. I don't know enough about game development for that. Um, but that's probably the only thing. Everything else I was absolutely loving when it came to the items. And something I wanted to add outside since it's a dog house is a little doggy or pet runway or obstacle course, whatever you would call it. It's so cute how you can make your own. You can just customize it all with all of the different hoops, with different levels, and so many fun stuff that you can include in it and just make your own little race course. So cute. Also, that little dog tree thing. I can't remember what it was called, but I really like it because we don't have a lot of flowering trees in The Sims 4 yet, and I thought that was really nice. Uh, speaking of trees, I'm not sure if I showed you guys in this, but some of the trees did have color swatches. And I know you guys are probably like, okay, why are you getting so excited over color swatches? Well, these color swatches made these trees look like autumn, okay? Like autumn leaves. So like red, orange, brown, different arrays of autumn leaves. And I was like, dude, I don't know if it's because we're coming up to hell, like it's autumn or fall season in America 
work or at the time of releasing this expansion or what, but I was just so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm just thinking about seasons. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, that is my simple little dog house. I hope you all enjoyed. Unfortunately, I cannot upload this onto the gallery, but make sure you do subscribe because I am going to be releasing another cute little cats and dogs inspired tiny home in the near future. Unfortunately, I did not get any screenshots. Like I said, I was in a bit of a rush. Um, so there are no screenshots and I can't upload this to the gallery as I said because I did not create this on my computer and we weren't able to get onto the internet or anything like that. I didn't even want to try because, you know, that's a little bit shady. All right. Well, guys, if you want to see more cats and dogs footage, I will be releasing another video very, very soon with more gameplay stuff. Uh, that I captured while I was away. So that's going to be actually playing around with my sim, with the actual cats and dogs. It's really cute and I can't wait to share all of that stuff with you guys. So make sure you go and click the following card at the end of the video. But yeah guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day. I love you all to bits and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.